Jason. I'm here in Hawaii at Dolphin Quest. Dolphin Quest is located on a natural saltwater lagoon. We're in the Pacific Ocean. Hawaii is a chain of islands. I'm on the biggest one. It's called Hawaii. I'm one of four sisters, and together we're traveling around the world. This Dolphin Quest location has 14 dolphins. I'm working with Natalie, a marine mammal specialist. When I grow up, I do not know what job I'll have, but I hope it's something to do with science. Being a marine mammal specialist, that could be cool. Don't you think dolphins are one of the coolest animals in the world? We wanted to know how dolphins are similar to humans. Hello, ladies. Welcome to Dolphin Quest. Thanks. You guys, this morning we're going to be in our Hilton Main Lagoon and we're going to meet some dolphins in here. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Are we excited? Yeah. yeah. I'm a mammal and so is this dolphin. There are a couple qualities that make a dolphin a mammal. They breathe air. Dolphins do that from their blowhole. They're warm blooded. <laughs> Here, we can come a little bit more shallow. Here you guys go. I'm warm blooded and so are dolphins. They give live birth. They have belly buttons. Evidence of that live birth. Some animals lay eggs and some animals give birth to live young. They have hair. Now, if you guys let them go for a moment, do you see any hair on this dolphin? Mammals also have some kind of hair. Did you know that dolphins have hair? No. Are you sure? Yeah, you guys are right, there's no hair. When they're born, they have whiskers, just like my dad. Do you guys see these little dots right here? Yeah. They have yeah. whiskers. What? Yeah. yeah, when they're very first born, so that's another quality that makes them a mammal. They breathe air, warm-blooded, they have hair. Have a spine. Here, you guys let them go for a moment. I have a spine. That's the long set of bones that goes up my back. You guys so can get on the side rub. His spine's right in here. They nurse from their parents. So they drink milk. Dolphins have tongues and they make their tongue into a straw. And then they can um, drink using that tongue and that straw from their mom. Human babies can drink milk from their mom, and dolphins too. How many teeth do they have? So it depends on the type of dolphin. These guys usually have anywhere from 72 to 114. 104? Yeah, do you guys want to look at Eva's? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have about 28 teeth. Dolphins have over 100. They only get one set of teeth their whole life. Oh! Yeah! They don't lose their teeth at all. They have no baby teeth. They can't lose their teeth, but if they do, it doesn't grow back. But we, what do you guys do at home to take care of your teeth? To take care of myself, I brush my teeth every day. Brush, brush our teeth. What do you think we do for the dolphins since we love them brush so much? Them. We brush, brush them. them. So not that they need their teeth to be brushed, their teeth are really, really strong. But it's just one way we can give them that extra good care. These dolphins are super lucky because they live in this beautiful place. And all these trainers take good care of them. They even brush their teeth. One thing we started doing to be so aware of the environment is we started using bamboo toothbrushes for the dolphins. Do you guys know why that's cool? Why? Any kind of plastic is bad for ocean animals. Because plastic toothbrushes, oftentimes when people are done with them, they end up in the ocean. And the plastic never fully breaks down. Yeah. But bamboo does. Wouldn't it be great if all kids use bamboo toothbrushes? Then we would help protect the ocean creatures. We don't want any plastic to go into the ocean. So if bamboo ends up, unfortunately, somewhere else, it breaks down, it's a lot better for the ocean and the yeah. environment. In so I was curious, do dolphins have a language? Dolphins use body language to communicate with one another a lot. They'll rub flippers on one another, or they'll Aww. swim together. Um, uh, do you guys remember what the flippers are? Yes. Yeah, these right here, you guys can wave at them. Ah! <laughs> uh, 
dolphins use their teeth on one another, like puppies and kittens to communicate. Aww. And dolphins also use a lot of noises to communicate with one another. Dolphins have a lot of sounds. We can hear some of the noises. Dolphins use clicks, whistles, like if you guys check this out. Some are so funny. Two fingers up and bounce them. He sounds like a squeaky toy. Oh. Or I use my whistle, dolphin's whistle too. Nimbus is actually the only dolphin that knows how to use his own whistle. Very nice. What? Dolphins can use a whistle? So they can use a bunch of noises to communicate with one another. But their range of hearing is so wide that there are probably noises that they make that we can't even hear. Dolphins can hear so many sounds that we can't hear. So they communicate really differently from us um, using their behavior, um, but it's pretty cool to study. And they can probably make so many sounds that we can't hear. We actually had a researcher come through to Dolphin Quest Hawaii a couple weeks ago. Here you guys can come over and give Nimbus some love. And he was testing or researching how the vocalizations of other dolphins at other facilities that these dolphins didn't know, how did their behavior change? And then he played vocalizations from dolphins that these dolphins did know or were related to and how was their behavior. And using that research here done at Dolphin Quest Y with Eva, who you guys just met, uh -huh. we found that her memory went back 30 to 40 years. Dolphins can remember what they heard over 30 years ago. And that's something we learned about how dolphins' brains work, how their memory works, just because we are able to do research like that with them here. So it's really cool that we can work with and have that partnership with our dolphins here, because you can't do that for dolphins in the wild. These dolphins here represent their wild friends. Mm -hmm. Does it immediately know how to swim? It comes out of mom swimming. When baby dolphins are born underwater, they immediately start swimming. And mom will help push the baby to the surface to take its very first breath. I know. Do you guys remember where the dolphins breathe from? The moms help push them up so they can breathe their Their Yeah. Now, if you guys let her go for a moment, I'm gonna roll her over. And you guys, this is her belly button. I've got a belly button. How about you? <laughs> the dolphins give live birth just like we do, so they all have belly buttons just like we do. <laughs> dolphins have belly buttons too. I wanna thank you so much for being here at Dolphin Quest Hawaii, helping train the dolphins with me and enrich their lives. I really, really appreciate it. Wasn't this fun learning about dolphins? Thanks to all my friends at Dolphin Quest, especially those dolphins.